Speaking of uh, <laughs> dates and uh, classic movies, uh, I wanted to talk about Segway. the James Dean thing because mm, surprisingly, Scott's it. opinion is very different than ours, and I'm very interested for it? to hear this. Yeah, well, what the let's, hell? Let's, let, let's, let me let me update a little bit of news because I want to get all of your takes on this. So, sure. the company behind the James Dean CGI, they aim to do this. Or, i.e., they want to resurrect more dead celebrities. Some of the, the rights oh, that they friends. own. Burt Reynolds, Andre the Giant, Maya Angelou, uh, Betty Page, Lou Gehrig. <sighs> there it is. I can't. I, I, it just. Christopher Reeve. They're talking about Christopher Reeve. I mean, they have. Obviously, they're in cahoots with their estates. <laughs> right. So the estate is basically saying, saying yeah, yes, here yes, you go. Yes, we want more money. And and maybe it's from there, and I'm trying to play devil's advocate now, getting on the other side, being the family, resurrecting their loved one to continue to shine, to continue to, to, to make a presence known in the film world. But right. to me, that's just... Well, before we uh, get uh, Scott's, uh, I'm sure, very minority. interesting yeah. opinion. Yeah. Greg, Greg, do you hate it too? Um. No, I, I think or that you... Godfather 2 uh, with De Niro was terrible, and they should have just put Marlon Brando in there <laughs> instead. That is probably the best... <laughs> The best argument you could yeah. possibly <laughs> make for this. That That's is really absolutely good. on point for That's, me, at least. Uh, like, I, I, I fucking hate. I honestly, I, I'm surprised you're on board. I, I hate. I it. thought I, for sure, yeah. yeah but I, I but this is great. There's is context. Great. There's wiggle room. Like I think if like the Fast and Furious Seven movie, that's a different kind of context. They were they film most of it, and right, then right, they need right. to fill in some Paul Walker moments. This doesn't make any sense to me because. You're not resurrecting James Dean to be James Dean in the movie. You're resurrecting a person to impersonate James Dean playing a character. Yes. Right. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. And uh, I think it is kind of ins – I think it's pretty insulting to be honest. I think every bit of context matters. Like with Rogue One, there's, they already he already played him. Thrawn. Uh, 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 Cushing it's, played him. Uh, it was a very expensive yes. uh, Easter egg, and, yeah. and the and the the family but did sign not, off on it. I don't think it's a real performance. It, it, it's a person trying to do what another. And everyone who does acting knows that you, the thing you have to do is what you would do, not what this person would do right. as this character. Mm -hmm. Right. So Scott. No, no. I want to hear your take on this, Darina. <laughs> Here's the thing. I've been thinking about it uh, the last week or so that we've been we've been discussing this. Um, at first, I was very against it. I'm still against it, but I think that it's hard to say I would never change my mind because right. we don't know what's going to happen with technology and, in general, how we all uh, you know get stimulated by technology. Like for whatever in the next five years, it's going technology is going to change a lot. So maybe we're all going to be purchasing holograms of James Dean to hang out in our house, right? That's the thing. Like it's it's interesting to think about <laughs> how uh, how how we're all going to. Um, not just watch entertainment, but purchase entertainment, right? Yeah. That's going to change point. as well. And we were talking about Blade Runner earlier uh, in Blade Runner 2049, Joy, that character, yeah. right? Where she, where she's the, the, sort, the sort of new Rachel, but she's a hologram version of right. that, right? That like, scene that's, was amazing. It really was. And, and so I don't know how we're going to be bringing up her by Spike Jones, right? Like, how are we going to be interacting with AI in the future? Mm. So this, this kind of makes me think, is that going to make things more acceptable to bring back these dead celebrities? I don't know. So, so just to clarify, being on board just means that I'm I'm intrigued. I'm not dead set against it. Yeah. But it just depends on the context. You're not going to have James Dean in every scene of a movie. It's a gonna, secondary lead. He's going to be the second lead. But said. I, I think first of all, you know, he made three movies. Okay. Right. You know, and this is a no matter how much technology advances, this is still going to be a pretty expensive process. Mm -hmm. So it's not something that is going to become the norm. I, at least I don't think it is. But when the technology does advance okay, enough to on. where, yeah, okay. okay, hang on. So back in two thousand one, there was a movie that came out called Final Fantasy: The Spirits Within. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was kind of a early sort of CGI character mm -hmm. movie, and everybody thought that's it. They're never going to use actors again. 
And mm. that didn't happen. And even even as the technology for motion capture, performance capture with Lord of the Rings, and even uh, it, World One with uh, Peter Cushing, mm-hmm. and now Gemini Man with the all CGI version of the young Will Smith, mm-hmm. which I thought was like looked like the real thing, mm-hmm. like, or I'm the gonna, Irishman, the Irish, well, the Irishman. Irishman. Well, that was, was I guess that was de-aging. Yeah. It was de-aging. But but what they did with the young Will Smith creating an all CGI version of young mm-hmm. Will Smith in in, in Gemini Man, uh, a, a movie which I thought was okay. I didn't hate it. It was fun. Uh, I thought it was like, holy moly, that really looked amazing. And when I was watching Rogue One and when I was watching Gemini Man, I thought to myself, just going to geek out here for a minute. What if the technology was so great where – just go with me. You know, If we're going to nerd out here, this is the time and the place to do it. What if the technology actually became so convincing where you could create an all CGI version? Okay, just go with me here. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. I'm just going to say this. We're waiting. You could create all CGI versions of the original cast of Star Trek <laughs> and do an episode that really felt like a vintage episode of the original series. Now, half of those actors, just go with me, Cody. Just go with me. Oh, I think he is. All right. All right. <laughs> like, I, I mean, listen, I, 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 my love for Star Trek is not absolute. I love the original Next Gen, yes. DS9. Uh, Voyager? I, I love the I, I, Voyager's okay. okay. Enterprise was boring. I'm still, Discovery. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm growing. I'm, Discovery. We'll, we'll talk about that. Okay. I'm getting there. And the show is getting there. Okay. Uh, Better themes than but I love Enterprise. The, I love the, the Calvin Timeline movies. I love the mm-hmm. JJ movies. But like, you know, the original steri- series is still the gold standard for me. Mm-hmm. And even though half the cast members are no longer with us, you know, the other half is really, really up there. But if you if you were able to use the technology in a way to create a a, a, a an episode of the original series with the cast members, the way they looked in the 60s, and make it a brand new episode and use actors that that were delivering believable performances of of young Shatner, of, of young Leonard, Leonard Nimoy. I would love that. I mean, I'm totally geeking out on here. So yeah. I'm thinking well, like, but it's not something that's going to be done all the time right. where actors are going to be threatened. So but do you guys a... think, I have a question though, because let's say, I, I you just, bringing up your point about, okay, let's let's say that this happened, that somebody made a Star Trek episode of the original series. Um, is that the same thing as someone animating it? Like, are we, like, do, would you guys equate uh, animation, right? Like, let's say they're animating yeah. Leonard Nimoy, like Spock, uh, you know, uh, Chekhov. Like, let's say that, that that's because we have seen a Star Trek cartoon series, right? Yeah. So is that the same? Episodes. So it, would you guys equate that to putting a, a new a CG uh, Spock and, and Shatner? Well, there there was some talk. Uh, I think it was just basically a fan, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, wish wishful thinking that they might, you know, with today's technology, actually go back to those 22 episodes from the animated series that ran between 73 and 75 and actually won a daytime Emmy for Best Children's Program back in in the day and, you know, create all CGI versions of the original cast members, but then just play it out. You have the audio, you have the music, and just oh. sort of play it out that way. And I don't think you should do that. Um, you know, I mean, the original series is you know, has its merits, and some of those episodes would have made great live-action episodes. But just... To, to have something all new as as a, uh, you know, maybe in time for the 75th anniversary of the original series, I think that would be really cool. So it's like a kind of a, a cool what if that you get to experience as a fan. What if you got to see one more episode, a lost episode of the original series? Right. But back, you know, uh, back in 1996 – when you had the Trials and Tribulations mm-hmm. crossover episode where the uh, DS9 crew goes back to to Space Station K7 and they're interacting uh, sort of in the background. Uh, I mean that was uh, 96 and it was brilliant the way they, they put the DS9 characters in an episode of the original series. So you know, you're already sort of messing – with it a little bit, but it, not to the point where it became the norm. Yeah. And I think that this concept of of having James Dean as a secondary character in a film, it, it it's fun. It sounds fun. I don't think there's any reason for people I to get caught up in arms about it. I don't know if it sounds fun to me. <laughs> See, but, <laughs> but, I, but I think it's what you said. It depends on the context, right? Yeah, the context. Yeah. 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 It, it, but, that ahead, for, but for this next report, it's like they're doubling down, and it's not just a one-off. 
It's that they want to look at other celebrities and, and do it, and that's where I have like, a do, real issue. I, I, like, like Betty Page, like she's an icon, right? She's, right. she's something legendary to that world, and uh, not just to Hollywood in general. Like, what are they going to do? They're just going to make another hologram it, of her I dancing? Like, I'm not. I don't know how I yeah. feel about that. It, it depends on the. Con- First of all, you used a hologram of Elvis Presley in Blade Runner 2049. Yes. Right. Okay, and that was effective for that particular sure. scene. Sure. So again, it just depends on the circumstance. It depends on the context. You know, you're not going to see is, Fast and Furious 10 starring uh, Vin Diesel and James Dean. But what I, I what, think. what is uh, like? What's the? This is a character. This is a, this is a brand new character, though, right? Right. That whoever is impersonating James Dean exactly will have to play this character. Like, it to me, it's such a different thing when it's already you're talking like that context of Star Trek is completely different than applied to this context. Yes. I understand that this kind yes. of context could this could go to a, an actor like there's millions of actors who could probably pull this role off. That was my mm-hmm. original and. With that one, you already have so much to go off of. Like, okay, this is how Kirk behaves. This is how Spot. This is how all the crew behaves. So we can get actors who are nailing that Im- uh, impression down. It's a completely different thing to get James Dean. It, it just will not be an authentic performance. It won't be a real I performance. Because your and, point and like, about Robert De Niro, yeah, in, exactly. In Godfather. Mm-hmm. That's what it got for me. I oh. said they because they in the original quote said we searched far and wide for somebody and decided that. James Dean was the best fit for, them. and I'm like, you just like all these actors just yeah. lost out to a dead guy. Yeah. yeah. And but, what is and what is the actual beginning credits going to say? Is it going to say starring James Dean, like yeah, starring so James, C- this guy James Dean and James this other Astrid. actor? Yeah, yeah. I mean, because it's not James Dean. I, I get, I see all of your points, and I actually, I really do agree with your sure. points. But I also think that this is just something that is such a long way mm-hmm. from it ever posing a threat to real hungry working actors and actresses. Right. And 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 I just don't think it, it's a, it's such a long way from it, from it ever being an issue, and I don't think it ever will be an issue that you know of. I, I just I just <laughs> yeah. my spider sense is tingling, Cody. That's for you. I just don't see it happening. Okay, I Cody and Alex, how do and you I, guys I, feel no, about this? I want to know. Do you like this or not? Especially because Alex, you're younger. I'm over it, but Alex has a hot take. Well, not necessarily a hot take. It's just oh, that. Well, fine then. All right, back to you. No, just <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was just like. You could have, um, like, for the Irishman, which uh, I saw the other week, like, they could have, instead of de- using that technology to de age, they could have hired, um, you know, other actors to play the young De Niro so that the physicality is uh, a little bit better. Sure. And also, same thing for, uh, I think, like, I love technology and the use of it. Like, Alita, mm-hmm. uh, Irishman, Gemini Man, they're all great uses of it. But I'm just scared that. Um, the that celebrities the same as Riley will be um, resurrected that way. Yeah, I, 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 I also think really quick. I think specifically James Dean upsets me because Why? the idea of his three films and part of him dying so early is what made his legacy so long lasting. Sure, Agreed. is because yeah, we lost that. him so early, mm-hmm. and then to pitch this as we're finally getting a fourth James Dean performance, mm-hmm. yeah. I think is in like there's other actors where I wouldn't be as bothered. Buy it because they already have a well-established filmography. Similar to Peter Cushing, right? Like yeah, Because exactly. he, he was older, and I, it still bothered me in the sense that I still felt like I was looking at like cartoon or video yeah. game. Yeah, man. It, 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 it weirdly, <laughs> but I thought it was really cool. Yeah, it, but it but really it bothers cool. me that it's a new character. It, it's less bothersome when it's a character they're bringing back. Life. I think the word you used was perfect. Is the it's that it's a new James Dean performance, which it's not because yeah, it's because not. it's not James Dean because he's dead. Yeah. So, <laughs> something that Alex just said just now about the Irishman about why not just use younger actors for De Niro and Pesci and you know and and actually I I was interviewing uh, the producers of that movie uh, Jane Rosenthal and Emma Tillinger Koskoff who also produced Joker by the way. Hey. Um, so <laughs> so yeah, a billion dollars. <laughs> Billion dollars worth so of as we as speak. It, <laughs> oh, and I said that a billion. Yeah, it's yeah. about to. Okay, I know it's yeah. close to it. Did I you like it, Greg? I loved it. Okay, I think good. By the we time argued about it on movie fights. Yeah. We by, did. By, oh, we did. <laughs> by the time we're done here with today's Collateral Live, it should actually be passing a billion dollars. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. I'm serious. Yeah, I'm sure. So, wow. so I, I, I had asked oh, them. Wow. Like, that's my brain fart. I forgot we were on movie fights fighting about Joker. Was it always the plan to use, to you to DH? Why not just use young our actors? And she right. said it was always the plan to try to to do the make the de aging work effectively to make the movie because when you have the same actor playing a character over the course of five decades, you're going to be more emotionally vested to it than if you have 
younger actors and then transition to the older actors. It'll still work and it would still be a great movie, but there's something about the emotional impact of it, the the commitment to the character when you're seeing one actor play the person over the course of all that time. Well, yeah, Good I mean, point. de-aging is very different, though, than yeah. new face. Then a completely different human playing a different human. Yes. Like, you know, just go back to my Star Trek thing. You know, yeah. I, like, uh, the, the, the thought of, like, seeing, like, a like a sort of like sort of the take of oh it's a it's a lost episode mm-hmm. you know and and you make it look just like the original series yeah i i mean i, I mean that, that i actually don't hate that that's the first time somebody's brought up to me uh that if somebody cg'd a person that's dead um if it's in the context of a character yeah. uh and and you're just using a, somebody's voice you know similar to animation that might not bother me as much well it's, your, your point is just what they did for tarkin in rogue one exactly yeah. that's a, exactly that's what it is. still yeah. had they all even gemini man unless in only really worked when there was like no lighting and then when it was just so dark in gemini man oh, i thought it was good and the very uh, the, one of the biggest complaints i've heard with that movie and i felt it was in the in the end of that movie when they're in the daylight and you just see the young you guys all saw gemini man no. I didn't yes, see it. Yes, I did. Well, in the uh, daylight when the, on the campus, like every oh, everyone yeah, yeah. started laughing at the screen. I was at a mm. press screening. Everyone started laughing at it because <laughs> it just looked so unreal. Right. And you need to have this ridiculous dark lighting and shading in order to make it look believable. And mm-hmm. I noticed it, as I saw The Irishman uh, just a few days ago, and I loved it. It's, it's weird how... Endgame and The Irishman are my favorite movies of the year, <laughs> considering all the yeah. commentary going around. Right. Um, but even in The Irishman, I noticed they had to do a lot of dark lighting to hide a lot of things. And uh, there were times in the de-aging with De Niro specifically. It, it, Pacino and Pesci I thought was flawless, but De Niro at times actually looked a little artificial. Yeah, I agree. Me. I agree with that. It did, it did take an adjustment to to uh, accept the younger the younger. Yeah. De Niro. That's interesting because I've heard of other friends that have seen that movie, and then also, do uh, you guys saw it Chapter Two? Yeah. Because they de aged the, uh, the younger kids. cast yeah. as well, and that I was distracted by the entire time. I was. But yeah. other people didn't even know that they were de aged. They didn't even notice. Heart. With the glasses, his head right? Look weird. Yeah. yeah. No, it, and so that it, it's very jarring to me. But other people don't even notice. It's, but why did they do that with the it chapter two kids? Because the kids got older and they wanted to f- do flashbacks. Because when oh. kids grow, it's really noticeable. Yeah, because yeah. teenagers like, grow yeah. like, yeah. way What's faster his name? than us. Uh, um, the, the 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 guy uh, he he the, the one that everybody loves. Finn Wolfhard. Finn, yeah, yeah, he he actually grew up. Mighty fast, yeah, yeah. since uh, Stranger Things, yeah, and, so uh, that's the first it's even yeah. distracting in the show, exactly. <laughs> like how much older he looks. I know, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. He really had a growth spurt. Uh, so, uh, thank you for the very civil discussion.